what happens when a knowledgeable Christian debates Muslims on religion. More than 100 Muslims come home to Christ, and the Christian ends up dead. This is the story of Ahamada Mafabi, a Ugandan man who was born a Muslim, found the truth, evangelized his village, ignored death threats, and was martyred, all within a two-year period. Stop taking our members, read the text message. Let this be known to you that your church and your life is at risk. Mafabi was no stranger to threats since he left Islam in December 2020, but I have to imagine he smiled when he read those words. His work for the kingdom was having an effect. The Muslims were desperate. They couldn't compete with Mafabi's knowledge, and more Muslims were accepting Christ as Savior every time they tried to debate him. Their Dawa scripts were no match for the convert who knew both religions well. Something had to be done, so they moved from debate to threat. As Muhammad said, better to right a wrong with your fist than with your words. Mafabi had spent 35 years trapped in Muhammad's hell. Then a local pastor told him the gospel. Several visits later, he was convinced, and his life was changed forever. Christianity offered answers. In response, the Muslims had nothing. <laughs> they could offer only threats of violence. Mafabi had to relocate with his wife and four children. But no matter, he had found the truth, and he wasn't going to keep quiet about it. Six months later, he was teaming up with the same pastor, publicly challenging Muslims to debate. Debate after debate, it became clear Islam couldn't stand up to scrutiny. Debate after debate, more people left Islam. Using his knowledge of his former religion, Mafabi and his pastor led more than 100 Muslims to Christ over the next year. The threats continued, but the two waged forward. This is part of the spiritual warfare that comes with Christian persecution, and I'm ready to face it, the pastor explained. Mafabi survived four assassination attempts from Muslims too cowardly to face the truth. They were losing the debates because their prophet is a joke <laughs> and their religion has no truth to offer. On January 2, 2023, a fifth attempt was made. That day saw 13 Muslims put their faith in Jesus due to a public debate. Angered at the loss, Muslims accused Mafabi of blasphemy and demanded he leave the premises. On the way home, two men knocked him from his motorcycle, shouted Allahu Akbar, overpowered him, and cut his neck with a long Somali knife, said an eyewitness. Thus, they accomplished what their god could not do. They silenced the critic, not with facts, but with violence, and ironically proved that even a knife is greater than Allah. Too bad a knife can't shut off the internet, and Allah's days are thus coming to an end. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both the soul and the body in hell. This video is for you, Ahamada. See you in heaven soon, my brother. Prayers go to the unnamed pastor who will continue the fight. Good luck stopping him. The hundred plus converts already won and the army of online evangelists out of your Somali knife's reach. God is indeed greater, but his name isn't Allah, and he doesn't need knives. The true God, Jesus Christ, wins with facts, and a 7th century warlord mentality can do nothing to stop him. One life was lost, but a hundred souls were saved in the battle of good versus evil.